we are here with one of the most recognizable stars in Hollywood, Oscar nominee and Golden Globe winner Michelle Pfeiffer. She's part of the all-star cast in the new movie, Murder on the Orient Express. It's a whodunit based on Agatha Christie's famous novel. And Michelle plays a glamorous widow with plenty of secrets. Take a look. Eyes linger any longer. I'll have to charge rent. Oh, boy. Hmm? Have another drink. Are you insulted? <laughs> Disappointed. Some men have a good look. All they have to do is keep their mouth shut, and they can take home any prize they want. Still, the mouth opens. <laughs> good line, Michelle Pfeiffer. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you too. This is such a famous book, a famous film. Were you were you a fan of it? Were you intimidated by taking it on? Well, I was a little intimidated, and I I hadn't really seen any of the earlier um, adaptations, and um, I, I actually am not that familiar with Agatha Christie. It's not really sort of a genre that I I gravitate toward, but. Um, I loved the script, and I thought this character was, you know, challenging and not like anything I had ever done. And and it was such a fantastic cast, and Ken, Kenneth Branagh was directing it, so I was excited. Yeah, it kind of checks all the boxes. Kind of checks all the boxes, yeah. Ken Kenneth Branagh, who stars in it as Poirot, but is also the director, as you mentioned, said that when he got the cast together for that first time, all of you famous, impressive actors, that it was like the first day of school and you guys were all nervous. <laughs> I was really nervous and I was really, I was intimidated the first few days. It's just, it was such a massive amount of talent and all people who I have admired over the years. It's funny because I think I read that when you met Judy Dench, you were, you got teary. And I, I got weepy. She, she was here the other day and I was flipping out over her. Uh, like I was like, it's such an honor. Yeah. And she must have that reaction. I mean, I everybody has that it reaction. Must get sickening, right? <laughs> she's probably like, ladies, calm down. It's and just she me. kind of is like that. She's right. Yeah, she's cool. She's so cool. Yeah. So tell me about the role. What, what attracted to you about it? Well, um, she's, uh, very extroverted, which I'm not, and um, uh, like a world traveler and really courageous and um, a little bit annoying at times. And um, I don't know, it was just all, th all things that um, I, I found very challenging. And I, and I also think it, w it had to do with uh, just being a part of this extraordinary cast. A lot of people are calling this your comeback year, that 2017, suddenly you're everywhere, which I, I know you feel is like a little bit of just an accident of timing. Everything's coming out at the yeah, same a little time. Bit, yeah. But you did take time to raise your kids and kind mm -hmm. of step away, and mm -hmm. that seems so sane and healthy and wonderful. You know, I wish I could really take credit for making this big sort of sacrifice and choice, but it, 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 it sort of just evolved, you know, it just sort of my, I guess my priorities maybe shifted and, you know, we, we moved out of Los Angeles and it just became, the older the kids got, it became more and more difficult to actually say yes, I became pickier and pickier and well where does it shoot when does it shoot you didn't how want long, to be away from how long kids. will i be away and, yeah. and and at some point i became unhirable <laughs> and that was really the real reason why i hadn't worked and then um and then time just went and kind of flew by and even it, it was actually my one of my children who said to me one day Mom, are you ever going to go back to work? And which kind of hurt my feelings. <laughs> and <laughs> you're like, what have I been doing I was this like, whole what do you time? Mean? <laughs> Isn't it great? I'm home. And they were kind of like, well, you know, maybe it's time. So, um, and then when they started applying for colleges, I thought, okay, it is time. And does it feel good? Is it like putting on a, an old pair of jeans? It it it's re it feels really good because I feel I don't feel that guilt anymore. You know, all working moms feel. I'm yes. sure you can relate. And no matter what profession you're in, there's that tug. Uh, where well, it doesn't even matter if you're just not even a working mom. If you're out getting you know doing something with your friends, you sort of it's so true feel this guilt that yes. you should always be with them. So um, I'm relieved of that. 
So in some ways, it's more fun. Well, it's fun to have you back on our screens. So happy to see you. Michelle, thank you very much. You're welcome. And the movie, of course, is called Murder on the Orient Express. It hits theaters tomorrow. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.